Hey guys, Unfrequented World, just out in the swamp taking a walk. Spring is here. Gary finally got a haircut. Things are looking up. So I've been out on the Suron every night this week uh, running gauge and sneaking down to the beaver pond which is about a mile from here and they actually the other night the beavers were out sitting on the ice. Grandfather beaver was out scratching his belly rubbing his chin. I snuck right up on them with the Suron they didn't even know I was there. There were four big beavers at least four in the pond. Four that I saw. There could be as many as seven or eight in the in the house that they have. It's a big, huge house that they've built there. I'll show you guys some footage of that. Just thought I'd show you guys what the swamp looks like right now. There you can see it's a little bit over my boots in most places. We have less water in here this year than the last couple, so that's a good thing. Get it buddy, get that ice. Hey, you got it. Thought I heard a knock there. The dog even stopped and looked up like he heard something too. It actually rained last night. Thunderstorm. It was uh, a nice break from the snow. We did have snow this week as well. 
it's one of those months of the year where you never know what you're gonna get rain snow freezing rain we can get anything at this time of year That's what's left of my skidoo trail right here. Not much. In the next week or two, we need to get up here, mile and a half, and check on our fox den. Last spring, I brought you guys, well, for me, it was the, the, the pinnacle of about 15 years of looking for foxes. Okay, I always had in my mind the beautiful shots I wanted to get of the mother maybe carrying a cub, playing with the cubs. And last year, finally, we got a mother fox here that I've been feeding for a couple of years. She comes through the winter, and I set up trail cameras right on her den. She didn't move the kits, which is usually what happens. She stayed there. We got National Geographic type video and the photos. I got hundreds and hundreds of photos. I'll just show you guys the pinnacle. This is the one I'm talking about. She had six kits, and I actually managed to get five of them in one shot, um, which was pretty amazing in itself. I love it. This is my favorite fox shot and it took me about 15 years to get it. Where I'm going with that is May 11th last year was the day that we went up and checked the den and the cubs were eight, nine inches long, you know, four or five weeks old at that point and they were just starting to come out of the den. I want to go up and just check around and see if she's going to use that den again this year. Uh, maybe put up a trail camera beforehand, get her used to my smell again. I always bring her a sandwich, a chicken sandwich or something and leave it so she knows it's me. And uh, I just, I'm just hoping that we can follow them again this year. Uh, we do have some of the young foxes are still here hunting on my trail cameras all the time we get them. There's two of them, at least two that are hunting together and throughout the winter we've seen them in various clips. Here's a good example of spring. We go from three, four inches of snow here, and then we move up 50 feet up the trail. We've got no snow. The woods here are pretty much bare. Now that the snow's gone, we can see all of the chaos that winter creates, right? Sticks everywhere, trees down everywhere. Look at that, it's just a mess. And if you want to get some idea of how much snow we have in here in the winter, many times I walked by the saw that's hanging in the tree and people commented, Hey, there's a brush saw hanging in there. Who's that? Well, it's Tom's, as I've mentioned many times. He's left it here, I don't know, 10 years ago? Does he even know it's here anymore? I don't know, probably. There it is. And it's actually, you can see, two feet above my head. More than that. And in the winter, we were walking by and it was right even with our head. So we're three feet lower here than we were in the winter. It's windy, but I can hear knocking. Every once in a while, I hear a knock or two behind me. I can see a rabbit running in there.
Spring is here for sure. Red squirrels are all chasing each other. And in a good way. All right guys, I'm gonna get the dog home, give him the hose. He loved that. <laughs> so muddy this time of year. I can't let him out without giving him the hose pretty much every time because he's covered in swamp whenever we get home. So just wanted to show you guys some spring beavers, a bit of wildlife, the forest as it's melting. Wish everybody a happy, what is today? Thursday. You won't be getting this till Friday. Hey, Friday, even better, right? Have a good weekend, guys. I may be getting out with Stan, I don't know. Do a bit of detecting, we've got lots of plans, so stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next adventure. Well, let's go, buddy, we're almost home. There's no way you're gonna carry that home. Then again, I could be wrong. Okay, I'm wrong.